I have no interest in sport. I was the smallest boy in a school of 2000. I was last in everything. So I had no interest in sport. And before I became mayor, I'd only been to one sporting event in my life, and that was a cricket match at the Oval, and I fell asleep. Um, so for me, it was only ever about regeneration, um, because that area of the East End, after the docks closed in the 60s, no government put any money in. They just assumed the people there would travel somewhere else to get work. Um, and it's incredibly run down. It's the most polluted place in southern England. Now all that soil's gone, we've got a park, we've got some great sport facilities, we've got an Olympic village, but we've also got the transport infrastructure. This massive regeneration hasn't gone without casualties. We've just spent a couple of days actually in Carpenter's estate mm. and we met so many people who have lived there for decades. Uh, in fact, there was one woman, Mary Finch, who's been there for 42 years. And she says she's heartbroken uh, because, uh, you know, her lovely, safe community is being torn apart. They're all, they're all being moved away from there. What would you say uh, to her and people like her? Well, no one should be being moved away. If people are moving, it's not because of the Olympics, it's because there's a huge churn in that area of Britain you've most likely got people moving more frequently than anywhere else. Most likely the biggest site where immigrants arrive and they're there for a few years and then they move on somewhere else. Well, it's these... not a wonderful old settled village down there. Yeah. Well, you know, so many of the people we met had been there for decades and they were saying that it's not regeneration, it's actually gentrification. Well, it is regeneration because I mean, you've created I mean, the Olympic Village and about half the properties there will be um, affordable, I mean, not just market rents. You've got uh, the best upgrade of the, the transport system that they've ever had. There's been plenty of rhetoric though about affordable housing in East London, but the people we've met said they could never afford to live in these mm. new high-rise apartments that are being built there. But there's, there's a separate problem here. This is Mrs Thatcher 30 years ago stopped building council housing to his shame, Tony Blair carried on that ban on council housing and therefore we've now got a huge housing crisis mm. um, and that's not related to the Olympics. We should have been building 50,000 homes a year in London. We've been building about 16 and almost all of that has been private sector. Part of the Olympic Village has been sold to a Qatari company. Would you have approved something like this as mayor? It would have been a if I'd been mayor over this last four years, the priorities would have been a different. There would have been more of a preponderance of building homes for rent. I, it, I might quite happily have done a deal with the Qataris, but it would have been on, I suspect, quite different terms. Don't we? I mean, London's elected a mayor who's very much a, a free marketeer. Well, given the fact that 32,000 people are waiting for housing in Newham, wouldn't it have just been to their benefit to give it to those people? Well. In one sense, the answer to that is no. And you want a mixed community. And to get the balance right, gentrification is a bad thing if all that happens is poor people are moved out and there and rich people move in. Um, but a better mix of community in which you've got a balance between working class and middle class people is pretty essential if you want local schools to work and job opportunities to arrive. If we look at the intellectual property of, of the Games, uh, we've spoken to a number of architects who have designed uh, for these Olympic Games, but they can't submit their designs to international awards. I mean, because of the intellectual property that they're bound by, doesn't well, that disadvantage is, them? I mean, if I was still mayor, I'd mostly say to Jack Rogg, it's time for you to I mean, loosen up a lot of the rules and regulations. Jack Rogg himself recently has said he worried about sponsorship by McDonald's and Coca-Cola mm. when we're heading for a world obesity crisis. I think my advice to the IOC would be say, go for a slightly scaled down games and reduce the, the, the level of sponsorship there. Because I think it totally degrades the whole idea of what the Olympics is. Can the UK really afford this given you're in the grip of a recession? Oh God, it would be a disaster if we hadn't done this. I mean. London has, I mean, the British economy has basically gone back into a double-dip recession, but not in London, because we've still got the work and income being generated by the Olympic Games, the Shard, the transport upgrades that went around all this. Anywhere else it would be a new town. Um, but it's been worth every penny, because without that, that level of investment by government, London would have been deep in recession.
Well, you narrowly lost the mayoral mm. election to Boris Johnson in May. Uh, in fact, very narrowly. Mm. That must have hurt. Um, well, it's a poisonous campaign. But then, you know, I've been in politics 40 years. Nixon got elected. Berlusconi gets elected. Even Hitler got elected. Elections don't automatically choose the best person. And, you know, did it hurt? I mean, the way you talk about what you would have done, it oh, seems... Oh, no, I mean, every day, I mean, I mean, I've been leader of the JLC for five years, an MP for 14, mayor for eight. I mean, except for those handful of people who've been prime minister or chancellor, I mean, almost no one in British politics has had such a, a good innings. It would have been nice to, you know, have another couple of terms or to be prime minister, all those things, but I've achieved a lot. I'm still going to be doing a lot because I'm still active in the Labour Party. Have you retired now? I mean, I won't run a, another election, but I'll still be campaigning around issues. I've just been writing articles about the need to build 50,000 homes here in London. And how would you like to be remembered? I don't care. I, I, I'm not worried about monuments. I mean, it's a question of what you achieve when you hold power. And I think my record on that has been quite good, actually, compared with most others. And the association you have uh, to the Olympics, is that something you're proud of? I'm, I'm delighted we got that legacy, but I still have no interest in sport, really. Mm -hmm. I, I shall go to the opening ceremony because I should, but the rest I'll just watch the highlights on TV. I'll be doing my neighbour's garden. Very nice. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.